I'm speaking with Julia D'Amico. That's correct. Uh, uh, of laptop.org, and she's going to show me the new XO V3O, which is this cute little puppy right here. Look yeah, at how. It's a tablet. Look at how thin that is, too. And on the back, it's just, just the, the XO logo. XO logo. And no ports on the side. Just here. Down there. All right, so we got a head jack. What's is that USB? USB. USB yeah. power and line in, line out, and another USB. Yeah, these are the small. Ones oh yeah, the for small additional, one. Uh, additional ports. Gotcha. And on the top there is uh, the on camera. The top there, there is a camera. And does it have one camera or two? Two cameras. Two cameras. Oh, so there's one on the other side as well. Yeah. I guess. So. Oh. I think we have to confirm with that. Okay. And uh, the UI has some similar flavors, at least in terms of iconography, to the uh, original uh, oil uh, machine. Yes. The software, the platform is called Sugar. It's okay. the platform that got uh, developed by Wortel Bender inside the Media Lab. Yep. And it's the same platform that basically all the laptops XO that got deployed in 45 countries are currently running with. Mm -hmm. It's called Sugar and is an interface, is an environment where kids uh, can learn by playing. We have been now been developed in five years almost 200 applications where kids can do uh, from mathematics, statistics, uh, and we are trying to give a little bit of more emphasis on robotics uh, and, and all the programming languages. And so, uh, Sugar, is that running on top of Linux? Or yes, is, it's it is. running okay. on top of Fedora. Okay, great. It's a Fedora platform. And that's uh, a Python-based language? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, yeah. yeah. So basically, this is the usual interface mm -hmm. where the child, as soon as log in, is going to insert his or her name. And this tablet is called OLPC. They can okay. customize the colors so the our logos remain pretty much the same. It's our brand. Great. And here we have a certain amount of activities and all the new devices, the tablet, the XO3 and the XO 1.75 that is going on production next month. Next month? Next month is going on production and it's also running uh, a Marvel chip. Okay, so it's Marvel technology it's inside. Marvel technology. All right. is uh, for the processor, not for the uh, screen or... No, it's just thing. for yeah. the, the okay. internal architecture, the new is Marvel. And uh, they're going to have um, they're gonna have a certain amount of sensors embedded in the device, including like an accelerometer or other sensor to measure uh, temperature or to work with robotics and uh, so the kids can create, can attach some other smaller sensor uh -huh. and they, they can play with the device uh, based on again temperature, uh, distances in between each other, uh, so, uh, uh, sounds. Uh, 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 devices uh, like robotic devices like Arduino boards? Or, yeah, or, similar. Uh, w w does Scratch work on this? Yes. Scratch absolutely. works on this? Absolutely. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Scratch has been working since the very initial device. Yeah. So we just exported now Scratch into this. That's platform. fantastic. Uh, can you talk about any other software that's going to come on board? This, the basic software is going to be Sugar. So all yeah. the activities that are running right now in the other devices that we have been deployed and we are keep on implementing are going to be in the same, also in the tablet. How about uh, browser? We have this web browsing that was the initial one created by Google and it still remain the same. Okay. And it's a web browsing, uh, um, it's a Google page. Now here I was, I was working on some textbooks. Okay. But this is how it looks like. And, and you have a set of like books already preloaded. Preloaded on the device. On the device. Uh, four gig memory, uh, eight hard gigs drive memory. space. How many? Eight, eight gigs. Eight gigs. Okay. Then you don't need to really, you don't need to be connected on internet, yeah. and you can still access. So, and each country, each deployment can decide which books you wanna have it here preloaded. Yeah, gotcha. So the device can be localized for different languages. The device comes out as of today in twenty-eight different languages. And we are developing more and more indigenous ones. Wow. From Quechua in Peru till Mexican ones in Mexico, Armenian, uh, and more indigenous in, uh, in Canada, in the Ontario region. We have covered 18 schools. Wow. Uh, so we are, we are putting a lot of effort in the, That's uh, fantastic. In the localization. And you're shipping next month? Next month we are shipping the new device. The new device. Yes. Okay. This one will be shipped by the end of the year. End of the year. Are, are you taking orders already? Yes, we are. How are you doing on your price point? The price point is going to be slightly 
over a hundred dollars up to hundred dollars uh, is still uh, uh, I mean still a definition under the how um, how do you think um, you know uh, like the big announcement in India and how their sixty dollar device which is uh, partially paid for by the government any government plans in the works with your device or are you finding other people's tablets are gonna cut into your your business of this device for learning for kids well, this is not just providing a device, this is providing an entire educational program mm -hmm. that goes beyond uh, the technology. The technology is a vehicle. Yep. What we are providing is 360 degrees a program that integrates uh, children learning, that integrates the parents, uh, that integrates teacher training. Uh, we are providing the software with the educational platform and all these services attached. Doing the teacher training is very important because uh, Basically, the teachers are the one who's going to work with the children in the classrooms. Yep. Involving the parents, uh, it's also as much as important as uh, teaching the kids because all the literacy programs uh, or basic hygiene and sanitation programs uh, that we are conducting in, uh, during the weekends or in afternoon shift, mm -hmm. it creates, it becomes like a socially inclusive uh, approach. And we are moving so towards an educational program that brings social inclusion and in the end it becomes social entrepreneurship. Gotcha. So it's much more than just an IT. It's not really a Certainly. laptop or a tablet project. Certainly. Uh, do are other publishers interested in making their educational content available for your device? We are in contact with several of them, okay. yes. Nothing that you can discuss now? We will discuss in the next couple of Alrighty. months. We have some interesting news coming out, but we are actually bundling with several interesting companies. Uh, not for profit yep. and foundations and also some for profit in order to provide a larger variety of contents available always uh, paying a huge attention on the localization of the languages uh, because it's very yep. important and also they were i mean they were, um, developing some specific content uh, like English as a second language mm -hmm. for several others for some countries uh, and more and more on robotics. Great. Uh, so uh, uh, just a couple of other hardware particulars. Um, still taking advantage of the mesh network? There is what is called an ad hoc network that okay. allows those devices to still communicate together without using internet. And yes. one of the concerns uh, early on with prior uh, iterations of the device is uh, servers in remote regions. I mean, I think in terms of power, you've got the solar cover. Yeah. Um, you've also got the pull device to charge. We have the hand crank, yes. The hand crank. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, powered. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but one of the concerns is always, well, how? What about uh, aside outside the mesh network? How do they get on to uh, the internet without a, a, a you know a, out, outside of a local network? Well, how do they get on the internet? It's always a very challenging situation. Uh -huh. We usually try to negotiate with the local telecom companies if they could provide in the schools free connectivity, and usually this is what happens. In the case where our governments who are supplying and who are supporting this project is the government itself that provides internet. Uruguay, that is the first country in the world that is fully saturated with our devices, mm -hmm. every single child got one of our devices, one of our laptop, mm -hmm. and is the first country in the world that has this ratio, has provided free connectivity also in the, in the schools and for the families. So they're like Wi-Fi hotspots uh, everywhere through the country, and a child doesn't have to walk more than 300 meters to find one available mm -hmm. and open. So depending on every country is different and every yep. country adopts a different model. So it's pretty much open. It's clear that in every deployment, in every school, there's going to be a school server. And in the school server, there is a huge like collection of uh, applications and contents that is going to be available for the kids. Yep. And this doesn't require any internet connectivity. Great. So anytime that are connected to the school server, that it's also beneficial because it allows uh, uh, to put to, it allows to enable the anti theft system. Uh, kids can access to an entire library that they would have it, they wouldn't have had before. Are you uh, looking at the consumer market as well? No, we're not. No, so there won't be those. If you buy one, someone will get one for free in another country. No. All right. So it's it was pure... it was it was an interesting campaign that allowed yep. us back in 2007 to distribute for free 100,000 units. Wow. But um, that was pretty good. Uh, in six weeks, we have been able to sell to sell 200,000 devices, pretty much. Since you uh, for this device? Oh. Uh, the XO1. Oh, for the, the one. Okay. One, yeah. 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 Okay. But 
there are some difficulties and challenges in making this type of campaigns and one of the major challenges that we, this is like an educational program that goes mainly to, to schools, to entire, I mean, to classrooms, and uh, having uh, one child uh, with uh, a device and no programs around it doesn't really bring uh, a major value. Also, the laptops uh, should be localized and yep. contextualized uh, in order to match the uh, in order to match the school system, the yep. um, the, cur the local curriculum. And I think we're running out of battery. Out of battery. All righty. Well, uh, I, I thank you so much for your time, and uh, and I wish you great success with the device. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And you'll see it not on a consumer shelf near you, but in the hands of a child in a classroom, most likely around the world. Around the world, yes, <laughs> right, uh, including you. the United States. Thank you, Julia. Thank you.